Good morning, Mustangs. Mustangs. Today we have news on important dates to change classes, info on the next sports games, and much, much more. I'm Leia Salazar. And I'm Karina Wancha. And welcome back to your, your Mustang, Mustang morning, morning News. news. Here's a reminder that if you are wanting to either make a course level change or drop an extra class, the last day to do so is Tuesday the 15th. Again, this is only if you want to change the level of one of your classes or drop an extra class. Our off-the-wall drama department had their Tribuco Night Live performance last night. It was an amazing show full of laughs and great skits. Fantastic job to all students who put endless work into the show. Do you need help preparing for your SATs or ACTs? DB Academics is partnering with the THHS PTSA to offer prep boot camps and practice tests. The SAT practice test is on February 12th, and the ACT practice test is on March 12th. Check out dbacademics.com if you have any questions. To enroll, go through www.thsptsa.org. In sports news, the varsity girls softball team is playing their first home game this Saturday at 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Make sure to support this awesome team as they start off their season. Also, there is a unified sports basketball clinic on Tuesday, February 15th at 5.30 p.m. at Mission Viejo High School. If you want to come to this event, join the Remind by texting the code at 3BGG8H9 to 81010. Let's hear another story as we continue to celebrate Black History Month. Here are some interesting facts that happened on this day multiple years ago. In 1944, Alice Walker, the author of The Color Purple, was born. In 1952, the novel Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison won the National Book Award. And finally, in 1965, MLK met with President Johnson to discuss black voting rights, which eventually shaped the future for African American suffrage. That's all we have today, Mustangs. We hope you have a great day. Stay tuned after the show to get to know your school counselors as we celebrate National School Counseling Week. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram at THHS Morning News for more. And as always, happy, happy birthday, birthday and, and go, go blue! blue. I'm Angie Young. I'm a school counselor here at Tribuco Hills, and I serve the students' last names A through CL. Um, my name is Jamie Orlowski, and I work with students um, as a counselor with last names P through SH. My first name is Shanti, and my last name is Lunsford, so I am Shanti Lunsford. I've been a counselor at Tribuco Hills since October. I've been a counselor at THHS for two years now. I've been a counselor since last year here at Tribuco. I wanted to become a counselor because I didn't have one at my high school and I saw the need and so decided that this is what I wanted to do and I love what I get to do. When I was a teacher fresh out of college, um, I loved working with children, but I didn't want to teach them long division. I wanted to find out what was in their heart and their soul and um, I changed my program from teaching to counseling and I never looked back. I've always enjoyed working with kids and I've always enjoyed helping people and I like the opportunity to be creative but mostly I like the opportunity to inspire others to be their best self and I feel like school counseling is a combination of all of those things. Oh my gosh my favorite thing about being a counselor it would probably be when a student comes back and tells me that there's something that I've told them that has made a difference in their lives. This is cliche, but it's the students. Working with kids, like you don't even have to think twice about that. So um, getting to know them, building connections, helping them feel more hopeful and inspired about their future and really figuring, helping them figure out what makes them great. My number one piece of advice for students is to slow down, take your time, smile and enjoy the little things in life. My number one piece of advice for students, make your bed in the morning. That's it, make your bed in the morning, sets out the day. Take one day at a time. What you do today is what creates your tomorrow, right? So by making the most of your day every day and learning to really tap into, how can I do what's best for me in all regards today, that will help everything else unfold. So take advantage of opportunities every day, 
look at um, the types of things you want to get involved in every day, create good connections with your peers every day, you know, learn what you can every day, and then tomorrow you're more wise about everything about yourself. Beautiful. That should be it. Thank you. I get a clapping end at the yeah. end.